Hello everybody and welcome back to Gone Home. Last time we left off I was completely lost, this time I'm probably still completely lost, but I figure I am going to try and click every single bloody panel in this place and try and find out where I'm meant to be going. Because there can't just be that one section that I was at, because, you know, that would be stupid, wouldn't it? It would be dumb. There's going to be a panel somewhere that I can open to get through to find something. Uh, but where? You see, that is the question. Um, I don't really know. <sighs> These games are, are just, you know, they're not meant to be too difficult. Aha! I knew it! Read story. Private. Do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She watched. She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her sabre at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell towards the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She'd been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet, but as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, the hands, and the body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still in the first mate, he, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, She is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the Queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Okay, that was fun. Ah! Okay, so... Right, okay. Items. What have we got here? Turn open to the right, three things. Stop the first number, left one. Stop the first property of Sam. Private. <coughs> Okay, so this is the combination for the locker in Sam's room, 0501. Alright though, let's go up there. Oh, there goes my mobile. I'm ignoring it because it's nothing to do with me right now. I should really change that ringtone. Alright, so we're going to go to Sam's room, so it's 0501. Alright, so what do we get when we do this? Okay. Zero five. Oops, zero one. Aha! What have we got here? <gasps> A pack of cigarettes. Remarkably smooth. Leave them for folks to find. Got a photo. Lonnie, ninety-four. She looks like uh, someone. I don't know. Who. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. <gasps> Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry. But I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Okay. Honey. Do you think you could ever 
And that's when she kissed me. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> I've got the basement key. That door's locked. So I wonder where the basement is. Is it through here? We must find the way. Because of Lone. I think it's over this way somewhere. We'll just check all the panels while we're at it. Anything? Oh, there we go. Basement! <sighs> okay, we need a light. There we go. It's a bit cobwebby. There we go. What have we got here? Some notes. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna. <gasps> you! Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the... whatever that says, potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie. Quiet. Yes. Dear Mr. Mr. Deserto, please let me take this opportunity to thank you in, in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? Indeed, Madam Samantha Greenbrier, Esquire. Some chips, potato chips, oh, half eaten and broken up and and thrown away like a trash can thing. What are we about? Fizz rate, ginger ale, whatever. Ended up there? No, uh, over there? No. Oh, what's this? Nothing? Okay. A note, a drawing. S and L. S and L. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know, so you could say we're dating, but it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Well, that's nice. Okay, what have we got here? Ah, <sighs> blah 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 blah. Whatever. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we can do in here? <gasps> Another room. The heater. It's very warm in here. So, some towels, some fluffy stuff, and a lamp. What have we got here? Read letter. Congratulations, I am pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 1995 session. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio and academic record. I am also pleased to offer you the financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuition and fees. The attached documents de 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 delineate your schedule, optional secondary track choices and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form. If you, if you wish to be eligible for one of the three full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded to exemplary students by the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes from us all at Reed College. Sincerely, Julie Morris. Oh, yeah, she got into college. That's good. I'm so stupid sometimes. Oh yeah, because you got into college. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, Let's just have fun while we can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so there's a lot going on in this game. 
about to find out what we've got on your postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from well, hey Sam, I'm writing to you from the whatever falls. I am here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to rig up. But it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you are. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. Ugh. There's a reason for that. Is there no? Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Okay. Yolanda Desorter, blah blah blah. Today's Spanish lesson. Whatever, I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of you when I drew it, I knew you'd be able to tell. You love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different from back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on the mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I haven't done a good job. Blah, 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 whatever. What have we got down here? It's some sort of button. X-ray specs. A can of cola. What's this? I've already read that. Okay. Anything else? No. Uh, what's this? Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cup Scout. Set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self. Girl Scouts, denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Okay, well let's check out this cassette. What have we got here? Whatever. Is that a bed? I thought it was a bath. Okay, so we have a a map and a safe. So I wonder what the safe combination is. Do you think it's the same thing? Zero five zero one. No. Ah. No, oh, that's not good. Well, I wonder what it is. We've got Terry. Terry six. All right. We need some light on the subject. Oh, it doesn't work. Do we have a flashlight? Anything? Hello? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Need a combination for that. I cannot read that. Okay. What's the combination for that one then? Hmm. Let's see. Um, let's see if we had that. Items. Basement key. To open turn right three. Just open the first number. Turn left once. Okay, so right three must be up th up three, down one. Up two. 
down three. Right there. Try one again. Up three, down one, up two, down three. One, two, three. Up one, down two, up two. No, that's not right at all. There must be something around here that tells me what the save combination is. Lick. Where did that bell go? Library. Ah, right, anyway, I'm going to stop for just now because uh, I think we've done enough today and my head is thumping. Right. Thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. We'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like and favourite. Let me know what the safe combination is because I'm too lazy to find it myself. And until next time, bye bye.